You see them in TV shows. You read about them in the newspapers. You admire their expensive and luxurious lifestyles and you crave to be in their place. Yes, everyone wants to become a billionaire, but only a few manage to climb all the way to the top. And when you find out that some of those philanthropists were totally broke some time ago, those stories turn into a source of inspiration. In today's episode, we would like to show you 10 amazing and inspiring rags to riches stories and to bring the people behind them in the spotlight, right where they definitely deserve to be. Enjoy! Sam Walton, the father of Walmart, was once milking cows and selling magazine subscriptions for a living. After graduating the University of Missouri with a bachelor's degree in economics, he took his $5,000 savings from his army service and loaned another 20 grand from his father-in-law to buy a variety store in Arkansas. From that point on, he built Walmart, the largest retailer in the world, valued at over $261 billion. Li Ka Xing is now the world's richest East Asian, but his early days were far from milk and honey. His father died when Li was only 15 years old. He had to quit school and to work in a plastic factory in order to support his poor family. In 1950, he started his own company, Chung Kong Industries, dealing with different activities from plastic manufacturing up to real estate. Now he owns an impressive portfolio of businesses in around 11 different industries which are spread all around the world. His net worth is estimated at around $32 billion. Leonardo Del Vecchio grew up in an orphanage before deserving a place on, well, on your face. After working in a factory and making molds for auto parts and eyeglasses, Del Vecchio started his own molding business by the age of 23. That business is now Luxottica, manufacturing your favorite eyeglasses brands like Ray-Ban or Oakley. Now he has a net worth of over 10 billion dollars. Now, let's turn our heads to TV personalities, more exactly to Oprah Winfrey. The young Oprah faced a hard and cruel childhood. She grew up in poverty, being raped and molested repeatedly by two members of her family and one of her friends, and ending up homeless and pregnant by the age of 13. However, she never stopped dreaming, and at the age of 19, she got her first job at a radio station. Since then, her natural-born talent kept her on the path to success, and by 2015, Oprah is worth $2.7 billion. How do you get from living on the top of a garage into a net worth of $1.7 billion? Ask Richard Desmond, because he has the answer for this question. He quit school by the age of 14 and worked in a coat check room and as a drummer in order to help her mother pay the bills. The passion for music inspired him to start the International Musicians magazine and along with it, his successful career. Now he owns several publications and magazines spread all around the world, but he still finds some time to play drums in charity events along with his band. John Paul de Joria's early ages were nothing but struggle and hardship. Son of two immigrants, young John had to sell newspapers and Christmas cards by the age of nine in order to support his family. After his parents divorced, he was placed in a foster home, and later he joined a street gang. But after being told that he would never succeed at anything in his life, he decided to prove the opposite. Dijoria started by working as a janitor and then as an insurance salesman. But one day he loaned $700 and turned them into the John Paul Mitchell Systems Company, a billion dollar business of hair care products. Then he came up to own 70% of the Patron Spirits Company, a premium tequila brand, and today his net worth exceeds $2.8 billion. 
Jan Coom is the man behind every WhatsApp that you ever sent or received. He is the founder of the popular messaging service and his story got into the spotlight once his startup was acquired by Facebook in 2014 for not less than 19 billion dollars. Jan was born and raised in Ukraine, into a small, poor village near Kiev, living in a house with no hot water or television. When he turned 16, he immigrated to California with his mother and by the age of 18 he was already an experienced hacker. Meanwhile, he was sweeping the floors at grocery stores to help his mother pay the bills. His hard work finally paid out in 1997, when Jan got a job at Yahoo as an infrastructure engineer. But this wasn't enough for the talented programmer, and so he developed the world's most used mobile messaging service. Now, in his late 30s, Coom has a net worth of over $7.8 billion, being one of the most recent success stories in the tech industry. Ryan Blair's childhood had nothing to do with kindness and protection. He was forced to learn all his life lessons right from the streets of Los Angeles. After his father left the family when Ryan was only 13 years old, his mother got into drinking and the young boy left the school to join a street gang. As tough as it sounds, at the age of 15 his main goal was to survive. He faced juvenile detention. He was involved in robberies, and he took part in many dangerous fights, but he ended up being one of the most inspiring success stories in the world. Blair started with a computer repair company, and then he made his breakthrough in the millionaire world with Vaisalus Sciences, a multi-level marketing company. His autobiography, Nothing to Lose, Everything to Gain, quickly turned into a successful bestseller, and he was declared the Entrepreneur of the Year in 2012. Chris Gardner is the living proof that everything is possible if you want it hard enough. The odds were against him for half of his life, but he managed to raise up from the ashes and to become a successful entrepreneur, a talented stockbroker and investor, and a bestseller author, with a net worth of over 60 million dollars. After being abused by his stepfather and spending most of his childhood in foster care, after facing a failed marriage and becoming a homeless father with a child in his care, he managed to stand up and he gave birth to Christopher Gardner's International Holdings, a multi-million dollar company that turned his miserable life into the dream he was pursuing. He published a book about his life, and later this story became a Hollywood hit. The Pursuit of Happiness movie, inspired by Gardner's book, got his main actor, Will Smith, an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Finally, straight from Mother Russia comes Roman Abramovich, one of the world's finest entrepreneurs. Now worth 9.1 billion dollars, owning Milhouse LLC and the Chelsea Football Club, he became orphaned by the age of four, when both of his parents tragically died. He was raised by his grandmother and in his early 20s he worked as a street trader and as a mechanic. He made his first step in business by selling rubber ducks from his Moscow apartment, and later he founded his own doll manufacturing company. Moving forward, he tried his luck with various startups until he eventually found the huge success in the aluminium, oil and gas industries. If you like what you saw, hit that big red subscribe button and help us push more interesting stories to people like you. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time.